1973, on being sane in insane places. Study 1. The aim of Rosenhan's first study was to see if individuals who presented themselves to a mental hospital would be diagnosed as insane. The researchers were five male and five female pseudo-patients from a variety of occupational backgrounds. Rosenhan himself was a pseudo-patient. The research took place in 12 psychiatric hospitals in five American states. Its pseudo-patient phoned a hospital and asked for an appointment. During the interview, they reported hearing the words empty, hollow and thud spoken in an unknown voice. Once admitted to the psychiatric ward, they ceased to show any signs of abnormality. During their time in hospital, they followed the ward routines and made notes about their experiences. All of the pseudo-patients except one were admitted with a diagnosis of schizophrenia, and they were all discharged with a diagnosis of schizophrenia in remission. This demonstrates the stickiness of psychodiagnostic labels. The length of hospitalisation ranged from 7 to 52 days, with an average day of 19 days. Rosenhan theorised that the failure to detect sanity was due to doctors being biased towards making type 2 errors, or diagnosing a healthy person as sick. This may be because it is safer to diagnose sickness than health. Study 2 The aim of Rosenhan's second study was to see if the tendency to diagnose the sane as insane could be reversed. Staff in one psychiatric hospital were informed of the results of study 1 and advised that one or more pseudo-patients would try to be admitted in the next three months. Staff were asked to rate all new patients on a 10-point scale where 1 meant high confidence that the patient was a pseudo-patient. Over three months, 193 patients were admitted. None of them were pseudo-patients, but 41 were judged to be pseudo-patients by at least one staff member. 23 were suspected by at least one psychiatrist, and 19 suspected by a psychiatrist and one other staff member. According to Rosenhan, staff were now making type 1 errors because they were trying to avoid making type 2 errors. Study 3 The aim of Rosenhan's third study was to investigate contact between staff and patients. In four hospitals, pseudo-patients asked a member of staff the following question. Pardon me, could you tell me when I will be eligible for grounds privileges? The most common response was a short answer given without pausing and with no eye contact. Only 4% of psychiatrists and 0.5% of nurses stop to answer the question, and this avoidance of contact may depersonalise patients.